Hello everyone, this is Dr. Santos. So today we will be talking about liver function test. So before going to video, please subscribe this uh, channel, like the video and uh, press the bell button. So let's talk about today's topic uh, that is liver function test. So liver function test we can categorize into three groups. So first is bilirubin, second enzymes and third is synthetic functions of liver. So synthetic in synthetic function we will talk about this protein. So proteins are synthesized in liver, albumin and prothrombin. And let's begin with the bilirubin test. So bilirubin we do general in uh, our laboratory we do total bilirubin and direct. Direct bilirubin is conjugated bilirubin. So this uh, indirect bilirubin that is unconjugated bilirubin can be calculated by subtracting uh, the direct bilirubin from total bilirubin. So what is the value of the laboratory value normal range is of direct bilirubin is 0.4. It is less than 0.4. Normal range of indirect bilirubin is, is, is less than 0.8 and normal value of total bilirubin is less than 1.2. So you can easily remember this is round. This is the round figure not exact value but it is a round figure so you can so that you can easily remember it is 4, 4, 4 to the 8, 4 plus 8 is 4 8 and 12 so that you can remember now so bilirubin test is the most important liver function test why because a uh, bilirubin test can be used to differentiate three, all the three types of jaundice prehepatic jaundice or hemolytic jaundice what will happen this indirect bilirubin will be very high in hepatic jaundice both will increase in post hepatic jaundice direct bilirubin will be very high so th this is how we, we can separate the bilirubin but this bilirubin level of bilirubin does not correlate with severity severity now let's come to the enzymatic test so enzymes one enzyme has meaning so just remember the meaning of this enzyme aspartate transaminase means hepatocellular damage and alt also means hepatocellular damage and this alp alp means biliary obstruction alkaline phosphate is alp means biliary obstruction so this is the meaning so whenever there is high alp that suggests biliary obstruction when there is very high alt that suggests hepatocellular damage when there is high alt that suggest that suggests hepatocellular damage also both suggest hepatocellular damage this ast is also called sgot and this alt is also called sgpt and now let's see this uh, uh, the value value it is very easy 50 for both alt and ast less than 50 and alkaline phosphatase less than 100 it is also drawn figure so that you you will remember better now uh, we will talk about the difference between alt and ast so um, uh, there is a difference between ALT and AST. So, we, that is why we do both ALT and AST. Now, albumin and prothrombin are uh, common that synthetic. This, the, if liver is uh, viable, if the cells are liver are, are viable, they will, this will, all albumin and prothrombin will be synthesized. And the cell damage, if there is cell damage, this sy synthesis of albumin and prothrombin will decrease. Actually, albumin is indicator of chronic liver disease. It indicates chronicity of disease and also severity of disease. So, if more damage to cell occurs, there will be less synthesis of albumin. So, it also re reflects the severity of disease and chronicity also chronicity of disease. Prothrombin time, prothrombin time, it reflects acute liver disease. So, prothrombin time increase means acute liver disease. Albumin decrease means chron chronic liver disease. So, why why does this happen? So, reason for this is uh, decrease in al reason for albumin correlation with chronic disease is because albumin has, has a longer half-life period about three weeks albumin has about three weeks while prothrombin has shorter half-life it is about less than about less, uh, more about actually in round figure it this prothrombin has got half-life three days about three days so that is why it indicates it signifies if there is increase in prothrombin time or time or decrease in prothrombin concentration means decrease in prothrombin concentration will reflect with increase in prothrombin time this reflects acute liver disease and increase decrease in albumin will reflect chronic liver disease and remember this these both reflect with severity they reflect with severity especially albumin reflect with severity and this prothrombin time also reflect with severity of cholestasis in the liver we will see the difference between ast alt and see one more thing this alp 
ALP regarding ALP, ALP is not only synthesized from liver. So it is synthesized from other tissue as, as well. For example, bone. That is why it is very high in growing children. So because bone growth is there, that is why very and the source of ALP is also placenta. That is why ALP is high in pregnant women. And so we have to rule out these uh, sources. So in order to rule out these sources, we do some different tests. So these tests, tests are, we do different tests for this and these tests are GGT. So GGT, it is the source of this gamma glutamyl transferase is liver. So if liver is increased, that suggests the, if this GGT increases along with ALP, this suggests that the, the source of ALP is mm, liver only because liver injury or cholestasis in liver will cause increase in, uh, increase in ALP and GGT at the same time or we can do second test 5 prime nucleotidase so if uh, nucleotidase is increased so it will reflect along with uh, ALP it reflects that source of ALP is uh, liver now gamma glutamyl transferase has one more significance gamma, gamma glutamyl transferase is increased in, increased very high in alcohol intake so this is another importance of gamma glutamyl transferase so now let's talk about this AST. So a increase in AST will be there in uh, this is where uh, toxicity happens inside cell because of some toxin. And actually the increase in AST happens because of because that mito because mitochondria also has AST in addition to cytosol. So when there is very high amount of toxicity to mitochondria. So what will happen, AST that is there in mitochondria, it will come out of the cell and AST level will be very high in comparison to ALT level. Normally, AST and ALT level, they are actually, they are near about equal. But what will happen in alcoholic liver disease? Because alcohol causes damage to mitochondria. So mitochondrial AST will come out of the cell and the, that will cause increase in AST level so AST at 2 ALT ratio will increase and this is between 2 or it can be more than 6 depending on the injury to the mitochondria so the second reason you can see toxins other toxins organic toxins to uh, liver that can also cause AST level to rise very high and see in chronic liver disease also in chronic liver disease what happens is slowly slowly this mitochondria also will have um, is a, uh, mitochondrial AST also come out of the cell and that is why ultimately the AST concentration will be uh, much more than ALT so this chronic liver disease or cirrhosis will have AST more than ALT and that is why this has this will have a range in between 1.4 to 2 so this this is uh, why we do AST and ALT together so that we can find out ratio and we can rule out the disease uh, this way by doing the finding out the ratio so thank you you can see here you can see in acute liver disease ALT is very high in comparison to AST because AST does not come out of the mitochondria all the ALT of cytosol will come out of the cytosol that is why in normal in uh, acute condition ALT is very high so ALT by AST ratio signifies it can be utilized to differentiate acute from chronic condition and uh, chronic condition from alcoholic condition. That is why this ratio is, has very big implication. So and thank you. So don't forget to subscribe this channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Thank you again. Thank you for watching.